Hi guys. Welcome back to TR's Tarot Talk 1111. Uh, we're going to continue our Zodiac series for the new moon, Black Super Moon, which is happening today at 1110, almost 1111. And this is going to be for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July 31st through August 15th. I have grabbed you uh, past, present, and future energies and a whole bunch of uh, oracle messages, okay? Um, I just want to let you know that today is the last day for you to get your $25 uh, private reading. If you're interested, please click the link below. As long as you email me by midnight tonight, I will honor the $25 uh, donation for a reading, private reading, uh, and then starting tomorrow it goes back to $40. Okay, at the end of the month I do have a show in August at the end of the month in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and if you're interested in coming to see me, I will be hosting that mid-month about August 15th when I come back to do the Zodiacs again. Okay, it'll be linked in the description box about mid-month, okay? All right, so let's get started on your reading. I drew a Moonology Oracle deck card. So for Taurus, luck is on your side. New Moon in Sagittarius, that was last month. But luck is still on your side, Spirit says so. Okay, so that's your overall energy bottom of the deck. Look at that, luck is on your side. Bottom of the deck. If I go a little deeper, I got the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Just saying. Okay, so let's get a general read here. It's going to be about a 20-minute reading. Um, and when I'm done with the Zodiacs, I will be posting a Twin Flame, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy update as well. Okay, so your first card out. Ooh, nice. Ten of Cups, Taurus. Energy you're under now is the King of Wands. And your future energies are the Chariot. Wow, what a great mini spread we got going on here. Okay, so you know that the Ten of Cups is all about family. It's about um, love and romance. It's the highest and best emotional feelings that you can have. Okay, so I'm going to get a clarifier just to get a little more energy on this card, Spirit, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, July 31st through August 15th. Thank you, thank you. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so in the past, um, <clears throat> I feel like you have somebody new or somebody uh, that's coming back around, of course. With the Seven of Pentacles, it's not somebody new. I'm sorry. The Seven of Pentacles can't happen with somebody new because this is something you planted a long time ago. And it's almost harvesting season. And what is it you're going to be harvesting? Look at that beautiful Ten of Cups energy. Okay, so Spirit says in the recent past, um, you probably planted these seeds. And you've been waiting and hoping and possibly manifesting this Ten of Cups energy. Okay, so let's get a clarifier on the King of... Wow, that was quick. I didn't even get to say it. All right, King of Wands clarified by the Two of Wands and by the Fool's card. Yep, just following along with the theme. It looks to me like um, <clears throat> emotional fulfillment with somebody from your past who you've already sowed these seeds with, okay? Spirit saying that as the gardener, your, your crop's about ready to come into fruition. You or your person might be a fire sign or they're embodying this fire energy because then we have the two of wands clarifying it. So you might have a choice on which way or which new beginning you want to go. I'm going to get another one on that just to see if there's another person 
or if this is just a matter of choosing the when and how and nine of cups wish fulfillment wow this is pretty spectacular okay so we've got the king of wands it's going to be you or your person two of wands getting on your life's path okay i set my intentions for these readings to be for romance uh, for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, if you resonate with that. If not, it's just relationship, general. Um, but it looks to me like there was some really, really happy moments in your past. And perhaps this person is not in your life at the moment, or you might be manifesting them back into your life, or they're manifesting you back into their life. Uh, but this Seven of Pentacles tells me it's from the past, it's already been sown, you're waiting to uh, reap your rewards. What is your rewards? you got the Nine of Cups, which fulfillment, a brand new beginning, a new embark, em embarking on a new beginning. And you might have to choose which path you want to take. But as the King of Wands, Wands for me as a reader is what animates us, mind, body, spirit, right? You need a little Wands to get things going. So either you or your person could be a fire sign, but we also have pentacles, which is an earth sign, which is what you are. And uh, your future energy is the chariot, so that is fast forward movement and success. Oh, we got the Hierophant. This is destined, guys. And there's your Knight of Pentacles. See here you're waiting in the past for the harvest. And here you're getting it. Okay, this is the first Pentacle being offered. And it's divinely guided. And in the future, it's going to be coming at you well-balanced and victoriously. That's a really nice read, guys. I'd like to have this for myself. Don't forget on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Or, I'm sorry, Ace of Wands, which animates us, right? Okay, so I hope that resonated with you. Know that luck is on your side. And it sure looks to me like you're going to be very lucky in love after having waited for it. I'm not sure if this is your energy or your person's energy. I put three clarifiers on it. And it's still, it, it's not giving me any clarification on whether it's your energy or your person's. But I feel like it's your person's because you're the one that's been waiting. And perhaps your person had a choice to make. They might have had other people or a job or, or like third party isn't always a person. It's at times um, like somebody who's a workaholic or they're taking care of their parents or they've got children or they're taking classes or whatever. Okay. But they had choices. You were them. And uh, now you're going to get your brand new beginning through a leap of faith and this is something that you've been manifesting and that you wished for okay fast moving energy <laughs> slow moving energy divinely timed okay this guy for me is the medium okay as above so below he's the oracle all right so the knight of pentacles is really really slow he is he, he comes in on a turtle but, you've got the chariot here. You could be dealing with a cancer because there is water on the board. Um, take it if it resonates. But I feel like you're in a hurry, but your person isn't, or vice versa. Your person's in a hurry, but you're not. Either way, it's all going to happen in divine timing, and it looks like it's on the horizon. Luck is on your side. Okay, two of cups, wheel of fortune ace of wands that's a beautiful read guys bottom of the deck ten of pentacles yeah so let's get you your oracle advice cards from spirit 
these are short readings last night they were about 20 minutes long uh, but today I'm at work I'm going to try and shave them down a little bit uh, these are the energies that you can harness and use or or what might be coming towards you during this uh, July 31st through the 15th new moon and black super moon okay do you know what a black super moon is it's just when you have two new moons in one month okay um, two full moons in one month is a blue moon this is the black moon because it's two super moons during the super moon is when you want to do your moon ritual for uh, releasing the new moon is releasing I'm pretty sure full moon is bringing in I have to look at it but I'm pretty sure it's releasing so what doesn't serve you? What are we getting rid of? And mind you, during this eclipse season, anything you get rid of probably is going to be gone forever. Just so you know. So if you're cutting ties just to, uh, to play chess, to screw with somebody, to get them to maybe come towards you or to motivate them, but you don't really mean it, you might want to be careful about that because during eclipse season, things tend to go away forever. Okay, and look at this. This is a 10, which is a 1, and it's movement. Look at that ostrich. Look at that. I'm going to read for you. I'm going to get the other one too, though. Spirit of place. We got this for another sign, too. I think it might have been... Virgo, maybe? Let's take a look at the book. This is Colette Baron Reads The Enchanted Map Oracle Cards. So your first number is a 10, the second is a 4, 4 is Foundations. And they both came in the upright. <clears throat> Matter of fact, they flew out together. So, just so you know, movement 76. You are in a time of positive forward motion. This is the time for positive, mo positive momentum as you come out of a period of restriction. You're in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, move your home or business. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to move forward. Yeah. See? I told you somebody's in a hurry somebody's really impatient but the other person is just moving very slow whether that's you or them I'll let you discern that okay so um, you feel compelled to go forward no matter what your inquiry you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic movement is also a state of mind fogs lift and you know and you now know the actions that you need to take. This isn't the time for fear. Let it go and move forward. Yeah, move forward. Choose. Wish fulfillment. Happiest and most emotional or emotionally. I'm sorry, my head. Yeah, Mercury is going direct tonight. Tonight. Maybe my words will come back. Highest and best emotional fulfillment is the Ten of Cups. Okay, so you're feeling compelled to move forward, you or your person. It is a one. Breaks down to a one, which is a new beginning. Okay. You also have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups. And the seven of pentacles okay so spirit of a place let's get you a read on that one I was looking to see if you had any other numbers that were ones and you do you have the ace of wands spirit of a place 10 hmm. page 10 another one so it's card number 28 or I'm sorry, no, it's not. It's number four. Movement was 28. Okay. This energy is crazy, guys. I'm just here to tell you I've been going through a lot. 
on the ascension journey and I set my intentions that this is also your spiritual path um, if like I said if you think you're a divine masculine or a divine feminine my intentions were for romance and spiritual uh, enlightenment and uh, ascension okay authenticity is the essence of power our ancient ancestors believe that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it just as we have a soul the plants trees birds mountains and rivers have their own essences when the spirit of place arrives in your reading it says that the answer to your query is in the overarching theme of your circumstances is your question about a struggle the answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation if your inquiry, inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love, become love, embody love, rather than long for it. You know, in the Twin Flame journey, we do a lot of longing, don't we? So embody love, be love, be the change you want to see. Okay, you'll discover the answer you've been seeking, and your greatest power is your authenticity. Okay, let's see what else we got for you. Um... I've been doing just two romance oracle cards. Sorry, I thought I saw somebody at the door. Uh, but three came out for you, and it was very insistent. Spirit said, you got to take them. Okay, so we have codependency. Uh, and that card just spoke of longing. So you need to embody love instead of longing for love. And it will flip the switch, okay? And then the universe will bring you what you put out. If you put out, I need, 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 then you're going to get back nothing but lack. So codependency, you can't, you can't be dependent on your outcome. You have to manifest by visualizing what you want, putting emotion behind it, and then uh, you kind of sit back and let God take care of the details. Okay, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, your next card out is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This is very common in, in a spiritual journey, and especially when it's triggered by your romantic partner. They trigger you to heal old wounds from your childhood. Um, Wounds of fear, feeling inadequate, not good enough, unworthy, abandonment issues. Um, there's so many childhood wounds that, that we acquire, right? And you might have had great parents. It's not always the parents' fault. It's the paradigm that we were raised in, okay? Unconditional love does not look like the way parents were taught to bring their children up because you know do things the way I want them done or you'll get spanked or you'll get something taken away or you'll get sent to your room or whatever it's imposing your will on your child and teaching them that if they don't do things in the manner that you want them to then your love has conditions set on it okay so healing family issues if you know that you have core childhood issues Take a deep dive during this. I mean, you want to do it like soon, before the next eclipse, okay? Then we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And in this card, uh, these people look like they've been married or maybe they walked away from the altar, you know, last minute ditch and run. Uh, but. And there's an age difference. This man's got gray hair and this girl looks a lot younger. Take it as it resonates, guys. But I think that once you clear your karma, forgive family issues, maybe go within. It might be the retreat that you need is to go within yourself. Don't look at my bad nails. I need to go get them done. But it's time to disconnect from the world. So you might be doing that with your significant other, or you might be doing that on your own, because this is a spiritual journey. Okay, but you've got 
They're coming in. Slow and steady wins the race. Alright, and your last oracle card. Oh, oh. I just bought this deck and I've done a couple readings and I was hoping this card would come out because I love it. Man holding heart. So if you're a divine masculine, this is your true counterpart. And if you're a divine feminine, your masculine truly, truly does love you. And he holds your heart. He's got a hold of that sucker. Okay, I could look that up for you. This is the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. We're going to take a look. It's a 9. Well, it's 45, breaks down to a 9. So that's a uh, closing out old cycles. 143. Man holding heart. Male dealing with family, love, or emotions. So it could be, look at this guy, looks like a uh, Mm, I can't think of his name. He's an actor. Look at his face. You tell me. I know his name, too. I can't think of it. Anyhow, you did get the Healing Family Issues card. So if you've been waiting for your Divine Masculine or just a partner, masculine energy, doesn't have to be in a masculine body, okay? Gender doesn't matter. Uh, but we just talked about healing family issues, and it says a male dealing with family, love, or emotions. Maybe all of them. This tender man sits with flowers all around him, holding a heart in his hand. For a man, this signals a greater clarity about emotions and their purpose in your life. There could be more balanced approach to family and love at this time, even if these have been confusing experiences for you in the past. For some, this card in the upright could signal the presence of a new man in your life, one who tends to be more thoughtful and aware. It could also tend to be a man from your past who still has a firm hold on your heart. Whether or not this man is a love interest or a friend, he brings a high intention to help where personal projects, family, or home issues are concerned. And there's an affirmation you can say, I am comfortable with all of my emotions. I honor and express them in appropriate ways, and I feel at ease and in peace in my soul. Okay? So, Taurus, that has been your reading. Um, if you would like a personal reading, don't forget my special ends at midnight tonight. It's $25 for 30 minutes in video chat via Skype or Messenger video chat, whichever works for you. And uh, it goes back to $40 for a half an hour at midnight tonight. As long as you book it, you don't have to, um, we don't have to do it by midnight, but you have to have it booked and paid for through the PayPal link below, okay? In order to get the discounted price. Okay, so I love you guys. Mwah. I will talk to you soon, and this, don't forget this is good for July 31st through the 15th of August. If it resonated, hit the like button. If it didn't, don't hit the unlike button, please, because I'm trying to get my videos out there. It's my intention that my channel grow. If you guys love my channel and you get good messages, please share and comment. Comments matter, too, okay? So I love you guys, and I will see you soon, and buckle up, buttercup, because luck is on your side and the wheel of fortune is here too okay talk to you soon bye-bye